Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. We're in the process of grinding up my deer I got in Kansas. I thought, you know what, perfect time to do a video of it. As you can see, I'm kind of thinking of this late. I already got a lot of this started. But first thing I'm doing here, we have over here, we have the burger. Right here, this is all the meat. You can see the size. This limb will eat anything. Look at the size of those chunks I cut. They're huge. They're almost steaks. Um, but this thing will chew right through it. Um, I'm grinding up. This is the first initial grind with the big plate that I'm using on here right now. This is the initial grind. Once I have that grounded in there, this is store-bought ground round right here that you get it. Uh, we got another one around. I'll show you when it's time. But basically, this is just store-bought um, hamburger right here that we get from our local store ground beef right here we are going to add this in with this when we do our final grind mainly because it's going to extend the amount of burger we get but also the fat content that's in there is going to add that fat content to here so instead of going to the butcher and buying uh you know beef or pork fat or anything like that to add to this by us adding that, we get the fat content that's going to keep it together for burgers real well. It's our personal preference. We just like it that way, and we can turn 30, 40 pounds of burger into 50 pounds of burger by adding that in there, and we get the extended aspect of it. So that's what we're going to do, but I will show you the process of this. I'm going to fire this up and grind this last little bit so you see this thing in action. Then I'll show you when we do the final grind on there. But for this process, I don't even need to use this on here, this lem. As I've said in the other videos, we'll chew through anything. Watch this right here when I turn this on. I mean, you can take full-size steak pieces, throw them right in there, and you can't feed this thing fast enough to get that stuff to go in there. I mean, she just chews right through this stuff like it's nothing, and it just spits it right. I mean, as fast as you can fill it, you know, it's chewing it faster than I can actually fill this. And it just sucks this stuff right in. And I don't have to use that plunger or nothing. Just dropping the meat in and you can see it spits it right out. Big pieces, doesn't matter. Like I said, the lens is awesome. So this is that initial big grind. And then we'll mix the burger in on the next grind. But this one here, like I said, take full size steaks, drop them right in there, just choose right through them. So that is the grinder part for the main first grind. We're going to pause that there and I'll come back to you here in a minute once I have this all ground and we're ready to do the second ground. I'll walk you through that. So we'll be right back. Okay. All right. So now I got that main part done. You can see I got probably 60 pounds of burger, 50 pounds of burger right there. That is the initial set. Now what we're going to do is mix this in. So what I got to do is I got to change out the cutter on this. Keep your cutter and your plate your disc and keep these separate okay i'm not just going to change the blade or the plate i want the blade and that change so they're not expensive to buy but when you buy it buy two so i'm going to take this unscrew the head of this just like this i'm going to grab that auger give her a little pull like that i'm going to take this extra meat that's on here and put that right into my take all this and stick it right into my bucket here so it goes in for the next grind like so, and then I'm taking off this blade, and I'm or, or that disc, and this cutter, okay? I want to run this cutter with that one, and I want to run this blade and this cutter with this one. I do not want to mix them up because they do work together in harmony as far as how they grind together. So it's, it's good to have the extra one. So I put the blade on there like that. Then the disc is not used on that side. You can see it's kind of got a ring starting to wear in there. That's where this cutter is grinding against it. That's why you want to run one cutter and or one blade and one disc together. Same with this one. I run this these two together because that actually you can see on there where it wears into itself. And it, it's just a smart thing to do. So I take this, put the auger back in, and get that set. I'll line that up with that higher low. I don't remember where that comes in at. Right there low. So I set that in there. Put this back on. And then we take my, we just switched pails is what I did. That's why I recommend for all of you guys, you get the two bucket system. So I took the one bucket that was here and moved it to here. And now I have the other bucket right here, which is gonna be my final grind. I'm just gonna rinse a little bit of this out of here real fast. Just like that, pour that out, and then this is what the final grind is going to go into. So I have up here my burger, my regular beef burger, that I'm going to take a good chunk of 
my venison here, and I'm just going to feed them together. I'm going to feed a little bit of that, a little bit of that. There is no rocket science to this. There is no specific calculation. I'm just kind of going basically for a three to one ratio. Three times as much of this towards one of these is kind of what I'm shooting for. I just want that to be a little extra, a little extra meat in there and to give it a little fat content to hold it together. Now for this part with that super tight disc on there, I probably will have to use this because you're, you're trying to force it through these really small holes. So it does take a little more effort and it moves a little slower than the big one does. But I turn this on, I'm dropping in some of this, dropping in a little smidge of this, and I'm just kind of feeding them through a little bit of together like this as they're going in. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And you can see it coming out. I still haven't had to use that pusher yet. I probably will eventually. A little bit of there, a bit of that, a little piece of that. And I'm just running this through, kind of mixing that by hand, that ratio that I'm looking for. And there is, again, no science to it. Just kind of pushing that in. A little bit of that, a little bit more of this, and just stuffing it into there, like so. And I need more. So we're going to stop it here, as you see, kind of get the concept of this, just mixing that ratio up on here a little bit, pushing that in there, a little bit of that, and you just keep it going, and then I will be back here when we get ready to... Uh, start to bag this stuff up and lock it down. I'll show you how that system works. So, all right, we'll be right back. So right now what I'm doing is grinding that burger up. You can see it right here. It's mixed with the, the beef and the venison. Now I'm going to show you two ways of putting this together. One is with the burger system, the Lem burger bagging system, but unfortunately from the deer I just did last week, I don't have enough of the bags left. They haven't got here yet, so I only have a couple of them. So I do have them. I will show you when I get towards the end of this on there. But as you can see over here, we're actually setting our bags that we pre-make out of the rolls with that back master here. What's beautiful about this is you have rolls that you can put in here, any size rolls, and you can actually make your own bag by just taking it, slide it out to the length you need, wherever you want it to be at, and then just zip, and you're creating your bags. And then you seal that side and you're set to go. So we have a bunch of bags pre-made um, already ahead of time. And setting right here, we have the scale. So what we're doing is, as I'm grinding this, Tina is taking and filling the bag full. We're doing two pound bags right now, and then we'll do some one pound bags, but we just, you know, fill it full, set it on a scale, and then once we have all those bags made, we'll seal them at the end and get them done. So I'm going to show you both ways, with the Vac Master for sealing these, and I'm also going to show you with the Lem Burger Bagging System here, which I'll get out as I get closer to the end. Because with the Lem Burger Bagging System, as you're doing this step, you're not filling a tub with this. You're actually putting them right into bags and you're done. So it's a very quick process. Like I said, it's our preferred way to do it. I just don't have enough of them to do this whole entire deer. So you're actually seeing both methods. So, uh, But when I get closer to the end, I'll show you that too. So we'll be back in a minute. All right. So now using the lem or the uh, vac master system. So you got your bags set here. Put them on a scale. Make sure that they're what you want. Actually, I'm going to turn that on. But uh, you set them right on the scale. Come on, zero. And we see we got them right at uh, two pounds is what we're looking for bag-wise. Um, and then you take this, we're going to set this on this with this vacuum sealer. This tray right here is where that works at. So you basically just set that right inside there like this. Close the lid right down on it. Hold that right there like that. Hit the start button. It's going to suck that down. You can see it draining it down. It's going to take it up to 27.5. And then uh, once it gets there, it's going to then seal it for us. So sweet, simple, and easy pro-grade vacuum sealer this thing's amazing now it's actually sealing it it's gonna beep tell me when it's sealed and done there it is I open it up there it is signed sealed delivered packages two pound package of, of burger now with the lem system I'm gonna swing you over this way because I'm gonna be on this side so swing over here at the camera now with the lem burger system which includes this tape gun right here and these bags, like I said, I only have a couple of these bags. That's why we didn't do it all that way. But with these right here, what you're going to do is use this stuffing tube with these bags. So how it works basically is we're going to take this out of here for a minute. So that that's clear so I can get this to get the head off of here. Leaving everything else on there like it was. I got my small diameter plate in there. I got the cutter in there. But I'm going to put this right into here. 
I'm gonna get that piece out of there. It's giving me a hard time, one-handed. There we go. So we're gonna stick this inside of here, put this back on, and this is gonna give us a place to put our bags on. So we're gonna screw this on. And if you watch my video on this stuff, I have links to all this. I'll probably put the links down here below for you as well too. But now with that set up, you're gonna take this bag. Now these are one pound bags, they give you a line on there. Now normally this is a two person job because somebody has to be pushing the meat into here. Somebody else has to be holding this, on the, this bag on here as it fills. But since it's just me and my wife and she needs to run the camera, I'm gonna try to do this alone. With two people, one person working the meat in and doing this, the other person filling the bags and then sealing them, much quicker, simpler process. For me to do this on my own, I might stumble a little bit here because i got to try and let this fill and work it out while I'm doing that. But we're going to give it a shot here for you. So basically here we got enough up here. We should, I'm going to put a little more just in case I need it. I'm going to pack a little bit more of that up there. And we're going to turn this dude on. And we're going to start stuffing meat in here like this. Keep getting in there. And I can feel it filling this. You want to hold that bag on pretty tight so that it actually compresses pretty well into there. And get her going. I can see you feel it starting to fill that up in there. You can see that bag starting to expand back there with the meat in there. See, feel, you can see that building up right in there. That's all meat building. Pushing that in there, pushing more of this in there. Like I said, a lot easier with two people doing this. And you want to watch where that line is, because when you hit that line, that's where you basically want to stop for one pound, so you got enough room to seal this in here too. And I'm trying here to do this one-handed. Here's my line. So then I'm going to cut this off right almost there right there like that so then that gives me you can see right at that line that is i'm gonna turn this off there he knows running but there is a one pound package of that in that bag give that bag a quick twist take it drop it right down in there it seals it tapes it and locks it and that is a one pound bag of burger right there ready to go so that's your whole system for that sweet simple and easy then you grab another one feed it right over the end of that Put it right on there, pack it on like that, turn it back on, have that start stuffing. Start pushing that stuff in there. See it built, filling that bag up on there. Keep it right on going. Stuffing that full. And I'm keeping pressure on that so that I fill that thing pretty full. I want that to pack up really well. Pushing that in there. I can feel it filling, feel it filling. Maybe a little bit more on there. Like this. Hang on. See where we're at. We are almost there. Coming through. And right about there. And I'm going to turn that off and we're going to lock that right there again. And so this one's a little lighter, but you can see right there, set right at that line, give it a twist, drop it through the, oh, I kicked my taper out. I snapped my taper across, hold on. Again, doing this one-handed gets me kind of a pain in the butt. So you take your taper, there it is, locked and sealed just like that. So that's how you use that burger, that lem burger bagger system. This, when you set the tape, you want to be able to roll it across. I must have screwed it up last time, but you want to roll this and wrap it right down and around and then that will set and it will continue going on there for you when you go through it but that's the process right there for that lem burger bagger system very fast very efficient you don't need the other tub here because as you're spitting that out you're filling these bags full these bags come in one pound and two pound bags but no no scale needed no nothing just sweet simple easy fill them to the line seal them and you're done so that's basically uh the whole system for all this so uh, thanks for watching, but that shows that's how we make our burger. That's it. Nothing to it. Grind it once, 
Then mix it with the, the ground round and the venison, put it into a bin, run it through the vac master, or put it right into the Lem burger bagging system. Sweet, easy. These things stack really well when they're in your freezer. Um, nice, convenient, and they last for a long time. So, uh, again, there'll be links down below for all of this stuff so you see it in there if you're interested in any of it. Uh, but it just makes the whole process really quick, really efficient, really easy. We'll burn through this 65 pounds of burger in probably about an hour. Uh, we stopped a couple times for to film things and change things out but about an hour is what it takes to go through this whole thing so thanks for watching we'll talk to you later bye